casa, viajeros y viajeras, bienvenidos, bienvenidas a los juegos de Tito Mor. Estamos aquí un día más con Genshin Impact. Vamos a seguir con la misión principal del Arconte, con el capítulo 5 de la misión del Arconte de Sumeru. Vale, que teníamos que negociar con los soldados. Y esta vez sí, para, para terminar, tiradita el gachapón. Vamos a ver si nos sale nuestra buena amiga Yo y Milla. Yo y Milla. Eh, ¿Dónde está esto? Vale, vamos a ir para allá. ¿Qué tal estáis? Espero que estéis muy, muy bien. Ya sabéis, como os digo siempre, que si os está gustando, pues hombre, podéis parar un instante para dejarme comentarios, likes, suscribiros, compartir el vídeo con gente que sepáis que le puede interesar, darle a la campanita para que os avise cuando subo vídeos, contactarme por las redes sociales y decirme lo guapo que soy. Todas esas cosas, todas esas cosiñas. Así que vamos al lío, lío. Por cierto, el... Dentro de poco, dentro de tres días, voy a conseguir las las ágatas que me faltan para subir al máximo la reputación de, de Espira Dragón. Tengo seis, creo, sí. Seis ágatas. Con cuatro más que me salgan en la, en la renovación, ya puedo conseguirme las nuevas alas. A ver cómo son y a ver a quién se las pongo. Guards, General Mahamatra, to to what do we owe the honor? Keep your voice down. This is a secret operation. I'm going to arrest a large criminal gang near this location. According to the Academia's guide and regulations on secret operations, I have the right to ask for the cooperation of Caravan Rebot. Ah, of course, of course. Mahamatra Sina's order is the Academia's order. Just let us know what you need. But who exactly are you planning to arrest and how many people are you expecting? Depending on the scale of this operation, we may need to report it to our superiors. There are a squad of Aramites whose number is comparable to Ein El Achmar in Port Ormos. They're involved in the theft and resale of supplies from the Academia. As many as Ein El Achmar? This should definitely be classified as a joint operation. Then I suggest that you report this to your superiors as soon as possible. And treat it as a top priority desert operation. I will need personnel. Got it. Please wait a moment. I'll contact them immediately. Because this is work. Dice, ¿qué formal te ves cuando estás trabajando y cuando no estás trabajando? Es más, si eso, el cino que. Sí, bueno, eres mucho más simpático con nosotras. Sí, vamos, es Because el tío de, de... Bueno, bueno, o sea, es, es, es la alegría de la huerta esa. We discussed this, remember? The caravan rebot operation is of great importance. But don't worry. The guards there shouldn't know that Sino has stepped down. How can you be so sure? First, the other Matra still don't know why Sino has left, which proves that the Academia has been covering up the matter. Second, this is a crucial moment for the Academia's God creation plan. If something were to happen to the General Mahamatra, it's bound to attract a lot of unwanted attention. No matter how you look at it, they don't seem interested in sharing the news of Sino's departure. A reasonable inference. I agree. Which brings us to our next issue. I'm sure some of you have been wondering if the prediction function of the Akasha will affect our operation. The Akasha is still in operation, so I must remain on high alert. Actually... Considering the power of the Akasha, it's quite strange that it hasn't already tried to interfere with my actions. I've given that a lot of thought. For now, I don't think you'll need to worry. If you remember, 
When you first came to Aru village, all your actions and routes were predicted by the Akasha. It even gave that information to those who kidnapped the village keepers. But things like that never happened again after we met up with the Traveler. Hmm. That's true. But why? Look at it from a different angle. Why do you think the Akasha will predict your actions? Because my personal data has been entered into the Akasha. That's true. But the key to this question is, how well can the Akasha make predictions about a person? Haven't you ever thought about it? Just how can it do this in the first place? Because the Akasha controls the entirety of Sumeru. The Academia firmly believes that all human actions can be explained through logic. By sorting and analyzing entered data, the Akasha can derive behavioral logic and predict the actions of those who fit an existing logic model. However, at the risk of sounding like an advocate for fallacies, can everyone truly be considered logical at all times? Emotions are part of our behavioral logic. But can you guarantee that every experience of the same joy or pain would be equally intense? How can our feelings and opinions be predictable down to the letter in every single instance? Hmm. Sino, in the past, you've always worked alone. In the absence of another person who could sway you or your thoughts, the Akasha could produce predictions that were similar to your real-life behavioral, decisive, and principled. You were used to solving problems alone. That's why the Akasha could figure you out. But now, you've joined a team. And I believe the Akasha hasn't yet figured out the full composition of it. Our thoughts and logic have intermingled and weaved themselves together to become a complicated, chaotic mess. Any one of us could potentially disagree with another. The Akasha lacks data on these interactions, and it's impossible for it to predict your actions in the future based on your decisions in the past. After all, there's probably a limit to just how much we can be modeled or controlled by data. So, in my opinion, you're probably safe for now. Hmm, huh, makes sense to me. I agree. The Akasha is not alive, and I don't think we can be completely controlled by something without a mind of its own. <sighs> is that so? I guess there are things that even the Akasha cannot calculate, and people will not be forever trapped by the past. Bueno, eso es discutible. Algunas personas sí se quedan estancadas. Oh, I'm so glad that this is settled. Next time. Pay attention during our meetings. Uh, will do. Just remember to stay vigilant. Stay vigilant. Uh, footsteps! General Mahamatra, we were not expecting your presence here. I'm the security officer of the Grand Deshret Desert District. My name is Luxem Barber. Hmm. This is my assistant, the Traveler. She will be working with me. The construct next to her is for her work. Beep! Construct! Beep! <laughs> what a great honor to meet you. Your golden hair is as bright as the sun. And, uh, is this the latest technology from the Academia? Have you made a decision regarding the matter I mentioned to your subordinate? It seems to be a dire situation, so of course you will have our full cooperation. To be perfectly honest, I've always longed to go on a mission with someone as well known as yourself. There's no need for flattery. <clears throat> yes, sir. Take your most elite platoon and follow me to the eastern side of the district. We will carry out the operation there. Understood. <sighs> map. Hurry, bring the map. In two days, we will engage Ramon's Aramites and capture all of them. Any questions about the time or location? None at all, sir. Good. See you then. Pues nada, yes, ahora sir. Que esperar dos días. Maybe hanging around the General Mahamatra isn't so bad after all. Everyone's so respectful towards us. This is all due to the absolute authority of the Academia. And now, 
We're going to strike back against that massive pillar of power. Get ready. We will move out in two days. Dentro de dos días. Pues nada, vamos a hacer que pase el tiempo. A ver, son las 11. 11, 11 y 18. Justo. Exactamente. Lo hemos clavado. Dos días justos. Ardecieto. La parte este del desierto. Madre mía, que miedo como está dando el combate final contra el, el nuevo dios que están creando. Los académicos. Los escolares, como le llaman aquí. Los bachilleres. Wait a moment. Ah! Oh, it's you. You're my assistant, remember? Being my assistant, you must stay with me. Now let's head over there. It's General Mahamatra and his assistants. We meet again. Huh. You're here early. It's to show how important we think the operation is. Since this is a big case for the Academia, we are prepared to give it our best. I'm glad to hear your sense of resolve. Remember, we must capture them alive. They are our only leads for the case. If they die, we will be unable to continue the investigation. Understood. Everyone! The Aramites are approaching from the west! Make preparations and be ready for combat. Halt! Oh, what a warm welcome. What do you want? Judging from those shiny weapons in your hands, it seems like you're not interested in a deal. Ramon, the Academia has caught wind of your smuggling and illicit sales. If you value your life, I advise you to surrender. Who are you supposed to be? A matra from the Academia? <laughs> I can't believe you came all this way just to catch us. I'm not here to talk. Oh. Nobody's given me this much time of day since I became a mercenary. Brothers! For that slight, let's wash our blades with their blood. Let's show them we Aramites are not to be messed with. Bueno, recordemos que están en el, 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 están en el ajo, o sea que no. Vamos a meterles caña de la buena, de la buena. You're in for a little shock. <risa> Segunda ola. Ah, 
you're in for a little shock. Come a little closer. You're in for a little shock. Jalilla. Que me vas a dar a mí. Tú vete por el otro, que lo tienes en el otro lado. Tercera ola. Come a little closer. It's over. Ah! We have subdued them. The operation is now over. All Aramite mercenaries and related personnel in the area have been arrested. Ah! You pitiful Dendro Archon dogs! You'll regret this! <laughs> I'm afraid you'll regret it first. King Jeshred will curse you, and you will all! Silence! Oh! Uh... Restrain them and take them back to Caravan Rebot. Count their numbers and send them to the Academia as instructed by the General Mahamatra. Yes, sir! Y todo esto es para que le dejen pasar. Ahí al, al Ramman y a los otros. O sea, now take my lead. If you need further assistance, please come to Caravan Rebot and ask for me. Understood. You are dismissed. There they go. Let's talk elsewhere. <coughs> this part of the plan went really well. Yes, things went perfectly. That's fantastic! And that punch you gave Ram on there sure looked convincing enough. Once we're done here, I'll return to Caravan Rebot and oversee the group's transport. I promise. Yeah, you're the reason why everything went so well. <sighs> it's not the time to celebrate yet. Hmm. I believe Dia should already be waiting for you. Go join up with her. She will need you to introduce her to Tainari. Speaking of which, is it really okay for us not to share the full plan with Tainari? What if they'll feel missed about it? I'm I have a very close relationship with Tainari. Given how well we know each other, I believe my message alone should be enough to bring him to our side. If we need help, con Tainari cosas, is the best nada. option. Tú no, no nos bromeas. Directamente. Get ready for the next phase of the plan. Don't keep them. Eres de los personajes más... Eres de los personajes más serios que hay en todo el juego, macho. A ver, reúnete con Deya en el Carabasar el Ribete. Mahamatra. General Mahamatra. No salimos de esta zona, eh. Del Carabasar a, a la aldea Aru, joder. It's about time. Didn't you say our part of the plan is the most important of all? <laughs> and here you come rolling in late. In the time it took you to get here, I already did five laps around the place, down seven <laughs> drinks, and even did some clothes shopping. Oh, me voy a haber dejado mi acutrao. Uh, sorry. No voy a irte los todos. I didn't mean to keep you waiting. <laughs> I just wanted to fix your attitude and rub it in a little. After all, you took your sweet time getting here, and we've got important stuff to take care of. <laughs> I just like seeing that serious look on your face. All right, I'll stop. All joking aside, I'm glad you're here. Let's get moving and take care of this as soon as possible. Uh, but where should we start? Our responsibility is to get a status update on the Fatui Harbinger known as the Doctor. We need to make sure he won't get in our way when we rescue Lesser Lord Kusanali. 
Dealing with an institution that controls all of Sumeru is already hard enough. If the doctor were to crash the party, he would be next to Yeah, I sure don't want him showing up. Ooh, he really gets by on the creeps. Right? Hearing his name just reminds me of those stuffy old geezers in the academia. I'd rather not have to deal with someone like that. According to the plan, we should first go to Pardis D.I. and ask for Forest Watcher Tainari. If all hate them and Sino sources are solid, then we can be sure that Tainari still has the Academia's trust. So, we'll find Tainari and convince him to get us the latest intel on the Doctor. Then, depending on what we learn, we'll make any necessary adjustments to our plan. The Sages have placed spies <coughs> everywhere on the other side of the wall. I'll follow you as a bodyguard. You should be honored. I don't offer my services to just anyone you know. But Paimon thought mercenaries would do anything for Mora. That's certainly true. But when multiple employers are vying for your services, you should always go with the best offer. Hmm, let's see. If I were to charge you a bill, I guess I can apply Muy a amable. discount. Por tu parte. Uh, how much more do you want? I was not sure we can afford it. Hmm, how much do I want? Hey, how about paying me with a smile? What do you say? Venga. I haven't seen you smiling much recently. If you ask me, someone like you must look lovely when they smile. Uy. Come on, give me a smile so that I can be less worried. <laughs> Looking good. I hope this pretty smile will become our lucky charm. There are many sí, kinds of smiles. But only a truly joyous one can bring blessings to others. Let's consider this smile a down payment for our future victory. Let's go. It's time to pay a visit to Party's DI. Bueno, pues vamos a buscar a Tiñari. El de las orejas tiesas. Me está dando el sol en la cara. No veo nada. Mira, ahora se ha puesto una nube. Mira qué suerte he tenido. Encuentra a Tiñari. Vamos a buscarle. Tirirori. Madera radiante, madera radiante. Hola, maestro Tignari. En a mí me gusta más decir Tignari. Como si fuera en, en, en italiano. Ah, Traveler Paimon. And you are? Hey there. This is our friend Dia. She's an Aramite mercenary. A mercenary? Hmm, you must have some big news for me. It's something really important. Please help us out. All right. Then follow me. Por el poder del dendro. This place is better. We won't be disturbed by any passerby. Okay. What is this important thing you want to ask me? ¿Te unirías a nosotros para derrogar a la academia? The doctor, huh? He's that strange-looking Fatui harbinger with the mask. Paimon thinks he has blue hair. Yes, I know him. Uh, actually, he left Party's D.I. just a little while ago. Uh, he left already? Yeah, he came looking for me. Can I ask what it was about? Sorry to ask you like this after having just met, but your answer is very important to us. For now, all we can share with you is that your friend Sino is working with us. Sino, you say? 
Hmm. I see. So that's why he hasn't been at the academia. Okay. I will answer your questions and will assist you any way I can. You don't have to tell me everything that's happened. <laughs> Sino's name really does work wonders. You're not even a little worried that we might have made it all up? Despite having just met you, I can sense that you're the serious type. Between you, the Traveler, and Sino, none of you strike me as the type that would conspire to deceive me. You don't need to tell me anything you don't want to. I'll also get straight to the point. The Harbinger you mentioned came to me because he wanted to take the scholar Hypatia away with him. Hypatia? Why would he want her? And what do you mean by take away? Is he planning to leave Sumeru? Yes. He told me his return to Snezhnaya is imminent. <sighs> so you mean... You're leaving this place soon? Indeed. Otherwise, we could have perhaps talked a little more. I was just about to set out when I remembered something important. To that end, I made a final trip to Pardis Di. Let me ask, have you been taking care of a scholar by the name of Hapasia? Your sources are accurate. No doubt because you recruited many informants. But you're right. Hapasia has indeed been receiving treatment from me. Forgive me for asking, but how's the treatment coming along? Given the way you're asking, I assume you have something to say. Since you asked, I'll be frank. I would like to take Hapasia to Snezhnaya. <sighs> it's incredibly difficult to transfer a patient. As a scholar yourself, shouldn't you at least be aware of this? Oh? I can't believe your utter lack of faith in me. ...to the point of even questioning my general level of knowledge. Well, you're the only one who's ever made such a request. I have my ways <clears throat> of keeping her safe during the journey. In addition, I can also promise that under my care... ...Hapasia will receive the most advanced and effective treatment. I will personally supervise her treatment and see to her recovery. Would that be agreeable to you? Hapasia was born in Sumeru and remains a scholar of the Academia. Her situation has not become dire enough to necessitate her transfer to another nation. Transporting her to Snezhnaya is risky, and the potential benefits are unknown. As the person currently responsible for her treatment, I cannot possibly sign off on this transfer. Your suggestion is rude and reckless. I'll pass. I don't know much about the doctor. But after talking with him, I realized that, just like many other scholars, he possesses an aura of arrogance that I've come to detest. It's not so much that he's looking down on others, but more that he's so confident in himself and his abilities, to a point of near insanity. I would never refer a patient to someone like him. I prepared myself for a protracted battle of wits, and was really surprised to see him just give up on the topic. Still... His reaction really concerned me. <laughs> I see, I see. Of course, your opinion makes perfect sense. <laughs> You're still young, but already quite stubborn. I must say, you are not like what I had expected. <sighs> Under normal circumstances, I wouldn't just let you off the hook like this. But unfortunately, I'm in a hurry today. What with Her Most Noble Majesty, the Tsaritsa, calling for our return. Luckily, there is still some time left for me to take care of everything before I leave. It's just as the Academia said. You're a responsible and gifted scholar. Sadly, even with all of that, you're still lacking a bit of shrewdness. And that's also why people like you can never realize that sooner or later, everyone must pay the price for what they've learned. Uh, I don't can't help but feel like he's hinting at something unpleasant. He asked a question, yet didn't care for my answer. 
Perhaps I'm nothing but a talking rock in his eyes. He never came off as malicious, but an utter lack of compassion permeated throughout our conversation. From his tone, I can sense that he's always looked down on others. <sighs> I can barely believe it myself. But if that's true, the situation will be in our favor. I don't think I missed any details. Frankly speaking, I don't want you to do anything too risky. Sorry, we can't tell you everything. We appreciate that you helped us anyway. I won't forget your kindness. It's okay. I have an obligation to do so. To be perfectly honest, all of this may have started because of me. Recently, my master wrote several letters to me, asking me to return to the academia and assist him with his research. Hasn't he already asked you several times before? Yes, but there's something off about this most recent batch of letters. The handwriting and tone are both familiar. My master will occasionally leave a few dots on the back of the letter. One dot means that he wrote the letter on a sunny day, and three dots stand for a rainy day. This has been a habit of his for many years, but I didn't find any dots in his recent letters. Es que a lo mejor era un día con niebla. I get it. Since you are always at Gandarvaville, you would like me, someone already working at the academia, to investigate this matter, right? I'd like to ask you to do that for me. If you can keep yourself safe, please withdraw immediately at the first hint of danger. I can do that, but I have a feeling it won't be that simple. The Academia has been working on a big project. I'm not quite sure what it is, but your master might be involved with it. Hmm. If the higher-ups really are hiding something, then it will be difficult to remove myself from the situation once the investigation starts. If the situation becomes critical, I'll leave the academia. If you don't see me there for an extended period, that's your cue. All right, we've got a plan. I'll stay at Gundarvaville to support you. If that scenario comes to pass, you must be extra vigilant and be wary of any messages or direct requests from the academia. I must say, I didn't expect a warning like this from the General Mahamatra. Being loyal to the academia doesn't mean blindly doing whatever the sages say. I know, I know what, I'm, what doing. I'm doing. On that note, aren't you also being quite distrustful of your alma mater? The academia, yes, but my master is a man of integrity. Even when I was a student, I was worried he'd get in trouble for sticking to his beliefs. I suppose he's lucky to have lasted so long. But in the end, it's still caught up to him. I see. So you noticed something was up with the Academia from the very beginning. This may well be how Sino became involved in all this. In that case, I must keep my promise and help you however I can. Also, if you run into Sino again, please help me pass on a message to him. Trust your own senses and experiences. I think this may be something he needs to hear right now. Okay. We'll find a chance to tell him. Thanks. Right. Now let's go hunt down this harbinger. Fijaos, ahora lo estaba pensando. Lo colorido que son todos los, los ropajes de los personajes, las armaduras y tal, en comparación. ¿Os acordáis al principio hay un monstruo que estábamos con los caballeros de Fabón y unos cabantos ahí uniformados? <ríe> Qué curioso. Oh, by the way, which way did the doctor go when he left Paris? Cada... Cada área es con su propia historia, movida, lore, personajes. That way. Gotcha. Thanks so much. We'll be on our way. Yo veo, yo creo, para mí que el doctor va a aparecer en un momento dado y va a ser el combate final de este, de este acto. Hasta que abran la siguiente área. 
que imagino que será pues en tres o cuatro meses. I want to check if the doctor was actually telling the truth. He also said that he'll take care of everything before he leaves. What did he mean sí, by that? No es mala idea. We need to be extra careful when dealing with a person like him. No es una mala idea, asegurarse de que se va realmente. Aunque como ya os digo, aparecerá. Just to be safe, let's chase him and see what we find. But we have no idea where he went. How can we start chasing him? We'll do it the mercenary way. I'll find leads as we go. All you have to do is just follow me. <laughs> that harbinger may have tried to cover his trail, but he still left some traces. Or perhaps he never even thought about concealing his whereabouts. Maybe that's just how arrogant he really is. ¿Dónde has ido? ¿Dónde has ido? Te me has ido, que estás ahí. Venga, vamos. Vamos, de ella. De ella, la caballera de Pegaso. Yep, we're headed in the right direction. Hmm, the traces are still fresh, but there's no sign of his entourage. Clearly they're in a hurry. Un momentito. Que hay logros para abrir cofres en en todas las áreas. Queda mucho camino, Selly. Bueno, los personajes ya van camino de, del 80. Lo que pasa es que requieren muchos recursos. Si os fijáis, bueno, los personajes no. En concreto, la viajera Moria la tengo en el 73. La voy subiendo un nivel cada día: un nivel a ella y, y un nivel a su espada. Pero es que no veas la, la de recursos que cuesta ya. Subirlos. La de libros del, del conocimiento de esos. Y el arma, pues ni te cuento. Madera de body. Le llaman body. Compadre Swayze. que nos tendremos que enfrentar ahora mismo a doctores porque vamos to the south of here is Port Ormos which seems to be where they're headed Port Ormos? they're going to leave by boat? that's right let's go to the port and have a look for ourselves
teaching skills seems we found the right place. Shh, don't draw their attention. The port is crawling with Fatui soldiers. Let's keep going and see what we can find. Now this is a proper farewell ceremony for a Snezhnaian Harbinger. The Lord Harbinger is leaving. <sighs> I've still only seen him once or twice. I used to hold a position in our homeland, and back then, the doctor spoke in a very different way from the way he speaks now. Maybe the way people talk in Sumeru has rubbed off on him? It's always like that when you spend too long away from home. When he gets back to Snezhnaya, perhaps it will also take him some time to get used to the life there again. Huh? But, sir, that... that can't be right. No, no, I remember it like it was yesterday. Both his expressions and tones are now very different. Also, for some reason, he seems like he's... all smiles now. You must be mistaken. Nobody's supposed to look happy when they're on a business trip. The doctor is on that boat. <laughs> so he told the truth after all. He is actually leaving Sumeru. This place will do. We can hide here while we keep an eye on the boat. Waving at us? It's time to say goodbye. Wait, is he the only person on the boat? Huh? You mean there's nobody with him? And where are all the soldiers we saw on the port just now? They were all here just a few minutes ago, but now they vanished. <sighs> so this was a trap. Wait. Don't tell me that. Luckily, there is still some time left for me to take care of everything before I leave. Oh no. They might be after Hapasia. Let's get back to Party's DI. Huh? What do you mean? I'm afraid that she's seen something that she wasn't supposed to see. If I were the Fatui, I would also try to take her away. And if I couldn't... Oh no! Are you saying they're going to... kill her? Let's go!